Many roads and junctions have more than one lane for traffic to use, and it is an essential skill for any driver to be able to identify and stay in the correct lane. This video will take a look at why we need to keep good lane discipline, practice basic lane discipline at a quiet roundabout, and then use these skills by driving through a busy town centre. Good lane discipline is the ability to drive precisely in the correct lane for the intended destination. This isn't always as easy as it sounds, as there is often a choice of lanes, and we must plan ahead by reading any road markings and traffic signs present before deciding which lane to use. Then, once our car enters the roundabout, we must keep our position precisely in the correct lane, without straddling other nearby lanes. Good lane discipline is essential for safe driving and of course will be necessary for anyone hoping to pass their driving test. This is because other drivers will be watching our road position and then anticipating which way we are intending to drive. If we position poorly and other drivers misunderstand where we are driving to, it could lead to danger as we will surprise others as we negotiate the junction. We need to plan ahead as far as possible and then drive in the correct lane as this will make us much more predictable to others and reduce the chance of a collision. Before we drive into a busy town, let's practice our lane discipline on this quiet roundabout. This roundabout has a standard four-way layout and there are no extra signs or road markings so we should use the default lane choice for each direction. We'll take a look at turning left, driving straight ahead and turning right. When turning left, we approach the roundabout in the left lane, brake smoothly and check the roundabout is clear to enter. We follow the left-hand lane to the first exit, cancel our indicator and continue driving. The overhead view shows that we need to steer left well before we enter the roundabout so that we keep safely in our lane and out of other traffic's way. When driving straight ahead, we normally use the left lane on approach, unless road markings say different. We must steer carefully to stay in the outer lane, as cutting across the inner lane would impede other traffic and could lead to a collision. We can see that if we steer carefully around the outer lane, there is plenty of space for another car to use the inner lane to turn right. When turning right, we approach the roundabout in the right lane and after steering left to join the roundabout, we follow the inner lane. We must keep to the inner lane until the exit before ours and then carefully change lanes and take our exit from the roundabout. Sometimes our indicators might be difficult to see, so making sure we change lanes at the correct time will make it clear to other drivers that we are taking the next exit from the roundabout. Next, we'll take a drive in a busy town centre to practice our lane discipline. We will see eight roundabouts in a variety of different sizes, so we will have to plan ahead in order to stay safe. We need to drive straight ahead at this first roundabout and the lane markings show we can use either lane. 
we usually keep to the left in this situation, so we enter the roundabout and keep to the outer lane until we reach our exit. We need to turn right at the second roundabout, so we use the sign on the right to check the layout. We need the third exit. We position in the right lane and enter the roundabout, then count the exits as we steer around the inner lane. Just after the second exit, we change lanes carefully and take the third exit off the roundabout. Using the sign before each roundabout is important as we need to know which exit we need to take. If we misunderstand which exit we need, we could make an error with our positioning and put ourselves in danger of a collision. We are approaching the sign for the next roundabout and this time we need to drive straight ahead, second exit. This roundabout is a standard four-way layout, so we slow to a safe approach speed and look for any road markings. We spot that we are allowed to drive straight ahead in both lanes and again we choose to stay in the left lane. This time we need to give way to other traffic, so we stop the car smoothly and wait. Once it is safe we enter the roundabout, stay in the outer lane and accelerate up to speed. We would only use the right lane here if overtaking slower traffic. Once again we need to drive straight ahead and the road markings show either lane is suitable. As we approach the roundabout we look forward and to the right several times, adjusting our car speed until we can continue. This roundabout is small so we steer carefully to stay in our lane as cutting across the inner lane could cause another vehicle to brake suddenly or swerve to avoid us. Once we have passed the traffic lights we look ahead to the next junction and we need to drive ahead once more and this time we spot the road markings and a small white sign that shows we must use the right lane. Good forward planning and observation like this should mean we don't find ourselves surprised by an unplanned situation where we might drive erratically. We approach the roundabout carefully, keeping an eye on the traffic in front of us and to the right. We drive slowly across the roundabout and continue once the traffic lights turn green. If we need to stop on a roundabout, we should try to avoid blocking traffic entering the roundabout from the left. A smaller roundabout here and after reading the large sign we spot the small white sign with the lane directions on. This is important here as the road markings are very faded and we need to choose the correct lane so we don't mislead other drivers. We cross the roundabout and immediately spot the sign for the next junction. This time we see that we need to take the second exit to drive straight ahead but there are no lane markings. The default option is then to stay in the left lane on approach and steer around the outer lane carefully until we reach the second exit. Just one more roundabout to go now and the next one is very large. We need to drive straight ahead towards Thetford and the sign shows that we need to take the third exit. There are no lane markings so we use the left lane as before. This roundabout has a national speed limit so we must look out for fast moving traffic. Once the other traffic has passed we enter the roundabout and follow our lane. After passing the second exit we signal left and finally leave the roundabout onto the dual carriageway leaving the town centre.
so remember to. Use signs and road markings on approach. Choose the correct lane to use. Slow the car to a safe approach speed and steer carefully to stay in the correct lane. If you found this video interesting, then please click our logo to subscribe to our channel as it really helps other people find our videos. If you would like to help support this channel, then please click the Patreon link to find out about our crowdfunding campaign. Thanks for watching.